Hi, I'm Scott Shelley, the Cow Guy, here for Traders Exclusive. Uh, I'm in London. Um, that's prescient because of the fact that uh, we've got a lot of things happening globally here that are affecting how we trade in the U.S. I would say the biggest thing on the docket right now is the fact that we've got those tariffs that were introduced by the Trump administration on uh, aluminum and steel. Uh, yes, those are pretty clear about what they are, but what's very unclear is what the tit for tat may be uh, back to the U.S. from other places around the world. So you're, you've seen, and it was pretty evident, that once we started to see those tariffs really come to fruition, uh, the, the volumes kind of shut down. Everybody was afraid to do something. We had some sort of standoff here about who's going to make the next step because of the unknown, right? The only known is of our, the tariffs that the U.S. is going to implement. The unknown is, are there going to be any cutouts like we did see with Mexico and, and Canada? And what might Europe do against that? And at the same time, I really need to highlight the fact that the central banks that are still keeping interest rates artificially low around the world, the U.S. has been really good about getting out of their quantitative easing program and raising interest rates, two huge steps in getting things back to a more healthier state or normalization. But we can't do it on our own because we still have to worry about the ECB and the Bank of Japan. Their bond purchases together are running at around $1.1 trillion for the year. So they're artificially buying, they're buying bonds to keep interest rates artificially low. That's a problem. And so if that's happening around the world and we're still trying to do the right thing in our area, not that what they're doing is the wrong thing, but we're on two different paths here and that's not going to be able to go on forever. So there's going to be some sort of uh, fallout there or uh, unintended consequence per se. And we need to keep an eye on that. And that's what I keep talking about, the velocity of rate of change. We've seen the rate of change slow down, the velocity slowing down because we've actually seen interest rates uh, uh, suppress or bond, uh, bond prices rally because nobody really knows what to do, so they've kind of gone to that bond market for a little bit of a, a, a flight to safety because who knows what's going to happen with the tit for tat for these tariffs. And with what the Bank of Japan and the ECB are doing as far as buying bonds and keeping interest rates low, that's also causing problems around the globe as well. So let's see what happens. These things are going to come to a head, and they're going to come to a head in 2018. I'm going to be here to walk you through it. But right now, the two biggest things I'm worried about, or at least watching, maybe not worried, are the tariffs and the tit for tat there as well as what the Bank of Japan and the ECB are doing as far as keeping interest rates low. That's it for me. I'm Scott Shawty, the Cow Guy for Traders Exclusive. I'll see you again next week.